November 23rd, quick uh, update. Tonight I attacked the rear end and I was able to get all of the uh, brake pads, uh, parking brake, all that stuff taken care of. So that's all ready to go out and get matched. I'm hoping that the drums and the brake shoes at the front uh, are going to be easy to replace. If not, I can hopefully have the drums turned and the shoes repadded. Uh, I'm not sure how good this is going to show up. Let's see. Here, this will help. So here we have the front end. We haven't really attacked it yet. Got it up on stands. And these I'll be able to reuse. These fit into the frame. The bolts here and there, there and there. And uh, so getting ready to attack this. Caliper should come off pretty easy. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm just waiting for my friend with the uh, coil uh, compressor to come over. So that's where we are. And when my goal is to get everything ready for the sandblaster and have them call him up. So anything I can't get into my sandblast cabinet, I want to have ready for him drive line, rear end, all that stuff. So that's where we are, over now. Okay, this is a breakdown slideshow of my 1981 Puma GTB rear brakes. All right, there's one of the first springs you take off. It basically is uh, showing the top two springs. One on the left there, that comes off. One on the right comes straight out of the picture, that comes off. Then you're able to get them, there they are on the ground. The thing in the upper top is the uh, self-adjusting brakes. Okay, here's a side view. Uh, of the trail, is that the trailing arm? Yeah, it's a trailing arm there. And uh, that clip there, that was really hard to get off uh, the way I broke it down. So, And here's some more. These are the top spreader bar and the bottom spreader bar laid out. And so, and there's a shot of where we are right now showing the uh, park brake and uh, lever on the right brake shoes still attached. Uh, there's a park uh, brake cable coming in on the bottom there. Uh, so, And here's a breakdown and layout of all the parts that's come off so far. Yeah, the brake shoes are different. Here we flip over to the uh, right side or the passenger side. And we pay more attention to the routing of the cable. There's the clip there for the self-adjusting brakes. And, uh, that I had so much trouble with before. Uh, okay, there's a top showing the um, master cylinder and how the uh, self-adjusting brakes go through that uh, clip there. And there's everything before we take off anything. That's the first shot and we'll be taking off the brake uh, two top springs first another detail of the uh, routing of the self-adjusting brakes okay there's this a shot with the spring on the left off the spring on the right is still on that's the first thing you do there's another shot of the uh, trailing spring pulling straight out at us. 
And there's a the shot of the master cylinder on the top. So, here we go. And then we take that pin off there. And there's, that's how that adjusts it down to the auto adjuster. And that clip on the left there, you can see it running through. And those are the uh, parts on the top. That, their appropriate positions. And now this time I basically took out the trailing brake shoe uh, clip there and took out the spreader bars and that to try to get to that little sucker there, that spring in the center there, that, that was such a pain to get to. And uh, by doing that I was able to pull the brake shoe out and take the pressure off that clip, that self-adjuster clip, and uh, there's a shot of that again, uh, the, the spring on the right there. So, and there's, there's a breakdown from the right going to the left of the part and how they came off in their order of disassembly. Here's what we have at this point. Uh, we still have We've got the rear trailing uh, brake and everything off. Now we took off the, uh, let's see, the, both brake shoes are off now. And there's a shot of the master cylinder. They both, they all look good. Uh, no leaks at all in this. So I'm probably just going to clean it up, mar brush it. There's, uh, the right rear, uh, the arrow facing toward the right of the frame. There's the trailing brake shoe. Uh, also, we're looking toward the front of the car at that position. And here are the two master or, uh, slave cylinders for the wheels. So that's about it. Uh, Hope this came out okay. Five minutes? Wow, that's a long video.